Am I the asshole? For saying my last goodbyes to a kid I used to nanny for? I have been the nanny to this sweet, little kid Franny for the past three years. She's honestly such an angel and I was super lucky to get to take care of her since we got along well and she never really started any trouble. It was also nice since they live in the same apartment complex as me. Anyways, I recently just started dating again for the first time since then due to a rough breakup. I ran into Fran's parents while out on a date with my girlfriend who made it pretty clear they were uncomfortable that I was gay. Literally that night, I got a sudden text message saying they found a new nanny that worked better for their needs and that I wouldn't be welcome in their home again and not to contact them. I'm still pissed off, because we got along all fine until they realized I was a lesbian. Anyways I went the next morning to question them in person since they live a floor up from me and saw they had gotten the neighbor to babysit who recognized me and invited me in edit I didn't go in and her parents were normally home during this time so I expected to talk to them instead. Fran saw me from outside the door so I kinda loosely said I wouldn't be seeing her for a while but I cared for her very much. I felt that I couldn't just abandon this kid who I've been watching for years now without a reason. Anyways, her parents ended up banging on my door today and yelling me out saying I went behind their back to manipulate their kid. Just wanted to hear what people say because I guess I could have emailed called first asking to see Franny one last time to clear things but went over in person instead. Update well, things escalated quickly. I sent them a final email asking for my final paycheck and to apologize for showing up at their door. Not sure who but someone chucked a couple dollars worth of spare change at my door thank god my lease is coming up, time to start apartment hunting. Thanks for all the kind words y'all, hopefully Fran is all good. Not the asshole you went to talk to the parents who you didn't know weren't gonna be there. Fran saw you before you walked away and what people expect you to ignore a kid you nanny for years. Crying face. Not the asshole. Literally the only reason they're doing this can be discriminatory. They'd rather have their kid deal with possession feelings of abandonment than let a LGBTQ person around their kid. Not the asshole. Also if there was a contract or they owe money demand it. They cannot fire you for sexual orientation. Not the asshole. Parents on the other hand are the a-holes. You did nothing wrong. They made it clear that they didn't want any more contact. It is painful not being able to say goodbye to someone you cared for three years. And it is totally understandable that you'd want to say goodbye to the kid, and I'm sorry you got to deal with such bigoted folks. Hope you find more open-minded people. Not the asshole. While I don't think it was entirely the wisest thing to go to their apartment after they specifically said you are not welcome that kid needed some closure. You were a big part of their life for the past three years and to suddenly disappear would give them trust issues. You explained to her that you would be going away, that you still care about her, and you didn't put blame on the parents. Not the asshole. You live one floor below them and they thought they could tell an eight year old that you just disappeared. They were kidding themselves about that, plus they were deprioritizing their daughter's feelings over their own homophobia so no, not the asshole. I think you did just the right thing and now they're reaping what they sowed. Nata. You didn't go inside or say anything uncouth. PPS saying you're wrong for attempting to contact them against their wishes but it's so rude to fire you and expect you to not say a single word back. Why is it more important that they are respected instead of you? There is no hate like Christian love. Not the asshole. You went to talk the issue through with them, but they weren't there. Kid happened to see you and you told them goodbye. Pretty straight up reasonable. You also could literally run into them on any day in the building you both live in. You did nothing sneaky or nefarious. I bet they were going to tell Fran that you quit and didn't want to see her anymore, so they could take the good guy role when she gets upset. And they're just full on after being homophobic chumps. Not the asshole. You live in the same apartment complex, did they actually think you'd never bump into them again? Not the asshole. I was this kid. 
My nanny asked for a raise, and not only was she denied, she was immediately fired and told she wasn't needed. She was actively prevented from saying goodbye to me. It absolutely wrecked me as a kid. I blamed myself, since I didn't know why she was gone. Fran deserved a goodbye. What are they going to do when they see you, with child in tow, in the hallway or elsewhere? Expect you to ignore the child? Will they run and hide? I feel bad for their daughter. You did nothing wrong, but they did. They don't have free license to yell at you. Period. Literally that night, I got a sudden text message saying they found a new nanny that worked better for their needs and that I wouldn't be welcome in their home again and not to contact them. My reply would have been. Wow just say you're homophobic. Don't make excuses. I hope your kid turns out better than you. Fuck those people. Not the asshole it's against the law in most state to fire you for your sexual orientation you should sue. Also kids should be allowed to get a goodbye. Shit parents. Not the asshole shame on Franny's homophobic parents though for torpedoing yours and Franny's working relationship because they don't like the gays. You said your last goodbye is in a very dignified manner, I feel which is more than what the parents actually deserve held to the yeah they deserve to be exposed as homophobes. Not the asshole, someday Franny is going to realize how crappy her parents are and you both deserved to say goodbye to each other. They just feel guilty and their daughter misses you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole screw those homophobes. I am so sorry this happened. I'm heartbroken for you and that little girl. Not the asshole. Their home does not include the hallway of the apartment complex you also live in. You were watching their kid for three years and now they have problems with who you are? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. As a former nanny, it is so hard to say goodbye to your nanny kids. I can't imagine how hard it was when you were fired for being a lesbian. I'm sorry you're dealing with this. Not the asshole. Did you let the other neighbor who's now the babysitter know that the parents are homophobic? Not the asshole. I feel like they're just close-minded bigots who think all gay people are diddlers. Not the asshole for being a decent human. Not the asshole they failed to text you the money they owe you, as noted you needed that last paycheck. You ran into their daughter. That's not your fault. You went there to see them, you didn't go into the house when you realized they weren't there. No you're not the asshole at all. You didn't do anything wrong. They're bigots and they're cruel. I'm so sorry. Not at all you didn't know her parents weren't gonna be there and the little one needed her heart tended to. The parents are going to stoke resentment in their child, always be open for her in the future just in case. Not the asshole. Everyone cries manipulation when the truth is exposed and they don't like how others react to it. Not the asshole. They're disgusting bigots. It was not your intention to see the girl. You went there to see them based on your own experience telling you they would be there at that time on that day. Not the asshole they live upstairs from you. Of course you are going to see the child around the building and it would be awkward and weird if you didn't say goodbye. These people are horrible. You did nothing wrong here. Not the asshole. You did nothing wrong. You did not go into the apartment. You went there to speak to the parents. They weren't there. You gave Fran an appropriate goodbye. The parents are the ones being the us. Not the asshole. They're just salty homophobes. Ignore them and move on. You're the only one in that situation who did the right thing. Children deserve to have closure in important relationships too. I suspect they did or were planning on feeding their kids some BS about you leaving without notice or not caring about Franny, and your unintentional opportunity to say goodbye undermined the abandonment they hoped to foist on their kid. Not the asshole. You went there to try to have a conversation, not to evade their oversight and unduly influence their child. Not the asshole. Bad Parent Award. The parents are overreacting. It is best you stay clear. Nothing will make them see reason. 
They believe you'll contaminate their daughter. Please stay as clear as possible. They probably thought that gay was contagious and their child would catch it, person face palming. Well, things escalated quickly. I sent them a final email asking for my final paycheck and to apologize for showing up at their door. Not sure who but someone chucked a couple dollars worth of spare change at my door. So what you're saying is they still haven't paid you. Anyways, not the asshole. Obviously. Not the asshole at all. Also, get your full paycheck absolutely do not let them off the hook for that. For traditional working for a company jobs, I usually see people recommend making Department of Labor complaints if there is wage theft, as the doll will get you your money I'm not sure if that would work the same for nannies, though. Not the asshole. The parents are homophobic assholes. Did they just expect their daughter to never run into you again when you live in the same building? Sooner or later you were going to see each other and if you just blanked her she would think she's done something wrong and likely blame herself. Can't believe people are saying everyone neither side is completely right, it's a huge enormous extremely fucked up bigotry is more important than a child's well-being are on one side and a little blindsided WTF just happened suddenly put out of work and not even allowed to say goodbye to the child she bonded with for three years are in the other. It's so lopsided that you have to go not the asshole. Not the asshole. Natar. I'm so sorry this happened to you, pensive face. Not the asshole. I am so sorry acceptance is one of the greatest gifts I gave my child. I wish Franny's parents would have understood that. I think you did the right thing. They would have never let you see her again and she needed that closure. They are definitely the are. 